Things I Didn't Know I Missed to Nazim Hikmet I didn't know I missed the high pastures between Gumusane and Erzurum, poplars following the line of the river Choru. I didn't know I missed the sea running up under the planks of the old Galata Bridge and the tide of people, the small boats pecking at the shore. What else? First light in the Balkans, waiting among the flowers on a corner by the bridge for a truck to pass and maybe stop. The peacock's cry, the long slow note of the train coming into Mazafapur. Sundown in the desert, the 120 days wind in the pines of Herat, the blue glass blowers behind the mosque, sunlight shafting into the covered reservoir, children playing at the pump. I didn't know I'd miss sleeping on a string bed covered by an old cotton quilt in the courtyard of the Hotel Omid, beside the diamond-shaped pool. Omid means hope. I didn't know I'd miss birds rising in the morning air above Meshed, a pink light about the mountains. I didn't know about the way things change, the wars and revolutions, the way we lose things. I thought I would always be able to row and row, suspended above the fathomless cold of the lakes of Bandiamir, and lie on my back as night falls, gazing and gazing into the fathomless deeps of the Afghan sky, a Russian satellite blinking red as it passes over. I never knew I would miss climbing up and up and coming out at last to sit cross-legged on the head of the giant Buddha in Bamiyan. Harvesting The moon hangs low, The combine hunts up and down, trailing clouds of gold, its cyclops eye revealing the corn, unweaving the cornfield, as it gathers the grain to spew it into the carts more. So, on a plain in Anatolia, they yoked the bull to the threshing board and sent up clouds of chaff, golden against the hills and lines of poplars, and the long shadows reaching almost to here in the morning sun. The road from Herat. How many times have I dreamed I was back in Herat? Even my spell checker keeps changing the name to Heart. It must know how close it is. How the 120 days wind binds me. How the turquoise sky has me mesmerised. How the old men in the bazaar charm me. How I never wanted to leave. That first night, approaching across the dark desert, tired and excited, seeing the bulk of the towers of Goa Shad's madrasa, just as Byron described them in The Road to Oxiana, meeting the tall Afghan, unwinding his turban, disturbing the houseboy asleep on his charpoy in front of the door, in the hush of the night and rumours of cholera. Waking to a sound like the sea, the wind in the pine trees, blue sails crossing and recrossing, shopping for melons. I thought I had gone back hundreds of years, to biblical times perhaps, and maybe I had. Maybe that's why in my dreams I can't find you, Herat, though I'm practised at finding my way through the back alleys, the tin bazaar, the copper bazaar, the dried fruit bazaar, the dark places where camels grind oil blindfold, the dark rooms where men weave silk. We left Herat for Kabul by the southern route, Darkness fell suddenly after evening prayers in the desert. We stopped for bowls of tea and flute music at Dilaram. A river crosses the road here. We could smell the sweet water for hours before we reached it.